Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'll talk about UI GDS, their appraisal process and variable pay. So I'll show you a variable pay, uh, actual actual variable pay slip. And uh, I'll talk about some other uh, topic regarding this week for people are currently in freshers or people are from uh, Indian MNC or US MNC. Some people uh, like, you know, they have a dream to join uh, this big four. Uh, but uh, no, I will tell some other perception as well. Uh, so, uh, so big four, as in you perhaps know, like you know, UI, Deloitte, uh, PwC, and KPMG. These four companies are uh, mainly work in a, a tax and assurance domain, and they called uh, themselves as a big four. Now, uh, this is for UI GDS. This is not for UI India. UI GDS has less through 20. It is in Bangalore, Kolkata, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Pune, Kochi. So these all uh, four or five location GDS operates in India. And UI India is in major cities. So UI GDS has slightly different uh, work culture or the way they work is slightly different and they have a different rating system as well so if i talk about the rating and appraisal so in in uh, these uh, companies basically in big four uh, if you see uh, like you know this is the uh, five scale duty rating system they have but this is for assurance domain so they have assurance consulting domain so if you are an uh, it background or an engineer tester so you possibly you know will be belong to this uh, consulting domain specifically tech consulting domain so there you have three scale rating system uh, exit uh, exceeded except expectation meet expectation or did not meet expectation so in most of the case 80 percent case i would say you'll get meet expectation and for i believe 15 percent case they will give exit expectation and uh, in last four five percent i would say like did not meet except expectation that is very exceptional like only few handful people possibly they may get i haven't seen any of them or i, I haven't uh, saw as of now and but in uh, assurance you can see like there are five scale and this meet expectation uh, qr MT. So this is the highest uh, rating that that usually given, and people are doing exceptionally well, or they are they did uh, something apart from their regular activity, possibly contributed something in POCs, showcase uh, showcase some other activities, right? Written some white paper and publish it, created some uh, like an asset for the company. So th those kind of people possibly, and also like you know having a good rapport or good visibility with the manager, they possibly will get these two rating, first two, top uh, five and four. Other than that, usually they all give uh, this uh, third rating but one more thing i have observed people are in bench uh, for a longer period of time they are sometimes get need uh, needs improvement so this uh, this is also given but but this is not about pip uh, if someone usually get this last rating they usually put into pip but other than that these four ratings are usually given uh, out of which 70 to 80 percent rating three so this is all about this uh, like you know uh, assurance rating but if you are joining a tech consulting you will get a rating from assurance definitely but your main rating would be this one so lead category definition so they have uh, here also five uh, rating system so you can see that a strategic impact uh, different uh, shading pro progress progression uh, need to improve uh, need to uh, need to uh, progress and not applicable so possibly in most of the case you will see the progression uh, progressing so this rating you will get to see it is uh, similar to this third rating and uh, like you know if someone is did a great impact so possibly they will get this too now this uh, rating is directly uh, involved with the hike so in ui gds the hike will be applicable from uh, october last month salary so people will get uh, their hike in october uh, last and uh, i'm not sure about this month but p period to uh, last year what has happened for third rating they have given approximate 10 percent hike and for first two rating they have given slightly higher it is 12 to 18 percent sometimes and for all other rating it's signed of four or no hike and this hike also a prorated hike if somebody has joined late he or they have worked for seven eight months in ui uh, not they are in entirely in ui for last one year then it would be prorated hike so suppose if uh, they are getting third rating and they joined uh, six months back so effectively they will get five percent hike instead of a ten percent hike so that is one thing uh, that i observed and coming to the variable pay so this is uh, a, a new variable pay a letter that you can see and uh, which is basically uh, like you know uh, 
shared all 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 employees basically now this variable pay is not at all related to uh, this rating so that is one thing because usually in accenture cognizant in all other organization apart from wipro uh, mostly in, in this organization this variable pay is linked with the uh, your rating so but here in ui even in wipro it was not it was not related to this uh, rating so variable pay is so if you see that like you know if you talk about their ctc so suppose let's assume for an example uh, someone like you know having 10 lakh of ctc and uh, like you know they don't mention it uh, in the offer in the they, they don't basically include the variable pay inside ctc so by default 10 percent is a variable pay so uh, so it, in that case one lakh will be your complete variable pay for one whole year so that is your variable pay and if you if you are staying in entire year so if you joined see this is the criteria they have mentioned so it is calculated from first july uh, like you know uh, still fixed component on first october so if you there uh, between this period so you will get 100 percent variable pay otherwise suppose if you are staying say six months so you will get fifty thousand for that and this variable pay is not linked to uh, this uh, rating also it is not linked to it uh, the amount of time that you spent in leave or like you know if you are there in bench for a few months so it is not linked to it so it is kind of the amount of time you spent in the organization it is based of based on that and it is also need not linked with the company's performance so as of now they have promised to give 10 percent and they are giving 10 percent but anyway if you have suppose like you know uh, one lakh uh, like as a variable pay so don't expect to credit one like you know get a credit of one lakh because there will be definitely a tax uh, which will be imposed so maybe for one lakh you'll get ninety thousand for two lakh uh, variable pay people having 20 lakh ctc they will get 2 lakh but e effectively they will uh, get maybe 1.75 somewhere and 3 lakh it is slightly more the tax will be imposed uh, but it is not linked to the company's performance as well now uh, there is one uh, good part and one bad part of it like they are not deducting uh, the variable pay only if you are staying for one year they will give if you're staying less so they will give a prorated so suppose you stay for six months so you'll get, get 50,000 uh, instead of one lakh. But there's the issue because it's a one year variable pay and this is paid on August uh, month salary. So you need to active in the like you know system till August in order to get the variable pay. If you leave your organization before that, you, if you leave UI before that, you won't be eligible, you won't get a variable pay. So that is uh, there in some companies like Cognizant, it is one time variable pay once in a year. So that is a tricky, but other than that in Wipro, it is quarterly, in uh, Accenture it is twice in a year, in uh, TCS is per month also it is in quarter or also there is a retention bonus so um, altogether this is all about ui gds and one more point is like you know uh, ui gds is good for the people who are from financial domain it is a good company it is a brand, good brand i would say for ca mba folks it is not at all not might be that much good for like you know tech people because they have less number of uh, client uh, if you are comparing tcs uh, accenture uh, cognizant and ibm so because uh, this has a huge uh, variety right in tcs you have you, you can see bfsi domain you can see insurance domain you can see aviation you can see power lot of other domain in cognizant you have a uh, big uh, like you know banking finance you have tech uh, like uh, educational domain as well but since they deal with only uh, finance basically they're all uh, clients are related to finance and taxation only so they have a less number of clients so getting project is client project is slightly difficult and one one uh, like you know bad part of like you know for this week four is um, specifically uh, they don't have on-site opportunities even though they uh, send their employee on site it will be a for short time two or three months for a business trip not a long time on site that people used to get in people usually get in uh, like you know in wipro accenture tcs or uh, uh, for that matter other mncs so people are joining these uh, companies they pay well they have a good uh, uh, i mean i mean good uh, uh, company work cultures is good infrastructure wise it is okay uh, they are not as good at STCS uh, in, in terms of infrastructure because uh, they have a slightly small setup in uh, some other city but it is okay like they have a good leap policy as well compared to all, all other company but yes in terms of technology in some cases they are using legacy technology project also 
getting a project time tracing project is difficult so that is all about my opinion on ui so ui gds specifically and if you have something you know uh, uh, some question to us uh, do uh, feel free to comment uh, me below thank you